competition. Anyway, there is big news just yesterday about the TV series being made for release this year. It had been made quite a long time ago, and people had told me that it's uh, people commenting on my channel had told me that it is due for release this year. But the reason why it's held up is because of certain sensitive issues around the content of the TV series, i.e. that it's uh, a lot of it's set in the Cultural Revolution. Um, so there is a big announcement, finally, yesterday. Here is the announcement. Get that out of the way a little bit. It has been announced that finally, after all this time, the TV, TV series is set to for release on the 15th of this month, just three days away. So it was announced just yesterday, and it's due to be released on the 15th, it says there, on CCTV 8. I didn't know this was a CT, CCTV production, but it seems like it is. And yeah, we'll have to wait and see what it's actually like. But what we do have is we have a poster for it. Let me get the announcement out of the way. Here is the new poster. I want to make that big here so everyone can see what it looks like. Let me get myself out of the way so we can all see that. Now, Uh, firstly, uh, my impression of this poster is good. I like this poster. I like the way it's got all the characters in there. I like the way uh, it's got a lot of the scenes from the book that people who've read it will remember. Let's go through it a little bit and have a look at some of the characters. So firstly, up on the top left there, that is Ye Wenjie as a youngster up on the Red Coast base. Uh, when she was very young and she'd gone through all that terrible stuff at the beginning of her life, sent to the Red Coast Space to research satellite technology and radio wave technology. And behind her on the left, that gentleman there in the glass is quite a small figure there. I'm not sure who that is. Um, I suppose my, one of my Chinese viewers might be able to tell me who that is. And then in front of her, in front of him and her, a gentleman in a scarf. I'm not sure who that is either, but I'd hazard a guess that could be maybe Pa Han, the leader of the faction of the ETO who want to let Earth be destroyed and let everyone suffer the consequences of that. Um, the, the most extreme within the ETO, I think in front of him to the right, the gentleman in the cap, I, I reckon that's probably Yang Dong, uh, Ye Wenjie, the size. And by the way, Ye Wenjie is also at the front here with the short haircut to the right of the center. Uh, that's, so that's her as a youngster in the top left. And that's her as an, in her older age after she'd had her child. And I think that gentleman there in the cap is the husband she, well, she married and unfortunate things happened after that, didn't it? Um, but yes, that is, I think uh, his name was Yang Dong. No, Yang Dong was her child. Uh, his name was Yang, Comrade Yang, they called him. Yes, Yang, Yang Dong was her child, who was the scientist. In front of the gentleman in the cap there in cultural revolution time Mao suit is, I'm not sure who that is again. That's a mystery to me, but I'm more familiar with these characters on the right. Um, let's have a look at a look at the scene there at the front, the foreground of the poster here. It, what it looks like there is of course, Lodgy's cabin in the woods that he he demands from the 
the people in the PDC. His ideal dream of a cabin. There we've got the woods that he, he draws out for them. We've got the lake there. And I didn't know this season would cover events in book two. So far, all the events in the trailer have only included events from book one. But I suppose we're going to see some events from book two in this series. Okay, so that's that's showing us some stuff that we're not sure about yet, and we'll wait and we'll have to wait and see. There on the top right, uh, I know him from the trailers. That's our Da Su, our Su Chang, our Chad policeman, our alpha male policeman, the the man who escorts Wang Miao around, keeps him safe, and in the end would also become uh, our Lodi, our wall, our wall faces guard when he's in that ideal log cabin in the woods there on the bottom left. I think underneath him in the military outfit, that, I think that's going to be Zhang Beihai, who features prominently in the second book. This is the man who comes up with some of the strategies for how to combat the Trisolarans, the very stoic military man. And in the middle there, probably the most recognizable so far from all the trailers we've seen him in, that will be our Wang Miao, the scientist who comes up with the nanofiber, which cuts that boat, slices it into multiple pieces. That is Wang Miao, I'm certain of that. And then next to him, behind him, I think that might be the uh, Japanese or Chinese scientist. I can't remember her name now. Uh, uh, Yuan Shifei, maybe. Let me check the book. Got it just next to me. So I've just read it again. Um, the That might be the wife of Wei Cheng, the maths prodigy who solves some of the problems. Uh, involving the Santi problem mathematically. Uh, yes, let me see. Shen. Yes, Shen is one of her names. Shen Yufei, I think it is. Um, and she's the lady, of course, who tells him when Wang Miao asks, um, you know, what, what happens at the end of the countdown that's in his eyes. Um, and he wants proof that uh, she's in contact with the Trisolarans. She says the, the universe will blink for you, and she gives a time when that will happen. And then Wang Miao uh, observes it actually happening. So that will be her. And then in the foreground of the right-hand side of the poster, we've got what looks there like the Santi, the three-body civilization at the stage of Building it looks like what looks like pendulums there, running off down the left hand side. The early stages of their civilization when they're building pyramids and so on. Hey, um, just before I forget, I did have one question that I've been pondering over that didn't quite make sense to me in the book, and I'm, I'm I wonder whether anyone knew an answer to this. So, of course, we know we've got people playing the game and trying to work out a solution to the three-body problem whilst in the game. And they are avatars of people on Earth. So why is it that they go through the stages of civilization that we go through here? Like at the beginning, you've got sort of uh, some form of necromancy, people trying to work out how to influence the gods and reality by you know, doing certain things, performing certain rituals and going through all those steps. At the beginning, as you're reading the book, it kind of it makes sense because you're thinking, well, these are the steps that the civilization went through. But what, what we find out, though, is that all of these avatars in the game are just people on Earth. And we know we we guessed at these approximations of how to influence the sun to move in a certain way and that they don't work. So why is it that they go through that in the game? Why is it that the avatars of the people on Earth try out those methods? 
I, I, I haven't got an answer to that yet. I mean, it's very interesting, of course, and very well done, but I, I don't understand why they do that in the book. So that's, for the, that's so much for the poster. I quite like this poster overall. It's got all the main characters in it. It's got a good sort of atmosphere there, and we, a mysterious kind of atmosphere. Everyone's got stars and planets in the background. And of course, it's got all the events covered from the book. We've got the three body game there, we've got the cabin in the woods. And then the big, massive satellite in the middle. Right, yes, of course, that's the satellite that the ONGA uses to send a message to the universe via the sun. Right. So, so much for the poster. Let me get that a bit out of the way. Because there's also a trailer. There's a new trailer that I haven't seen before. We've seen two trailers before for Three Body Problem, and I've reviewed them on this channel. But we've got a new trailer, and here it is. We're going to watch that now. Okay, so here is the trailer. And I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm going to try my best to do an on the spot translation. Now, I'm not going to be able to cover all of this uh, because there will be some words I'm not quite sure on in the moment. But, I, ladies and gentlemen, I will try my best. I will try my best. Here is the third, and it seems like, given the fact that it's going to be released there, it says there on the 15th, that's just two days from now on CCTV 8, it seems like that will be the final, final trailer. Okay, so let's watch it together. Let me just get this poster out the way and make sure that we can all see this. The whole thing so it's not nothing's blocked okay there we go right let's go let's watch it together yeah we can all hear that right good excellent i've got audio good something's working today mm. of course is the red coast based base where you and sends the satellite message she's switching all those switches there to send that message to the sun it gets us into all the trouble in the end. That's the voice of Shu Chang, the policeman, saying, we don't know who the enemy is and where are they driving here? Ah, oh, those look, that looks like the rainforests of Panama, where, of course, the boat of the ETO uh, is sliced apart. He's saying, Shu Chang is saying, we don't know who the enemy is. We don't know what they're like. We don't know how they exist. That was Evans there, the uh, one of the founders of the ETO. So he's just saying, we're the first people that have come into contact with these, these aliens. That was Zhang Beihai there, he was in the poster we saw before. The military man, the stoic. I'm reading the second book at the moment and I, I quite like him. And I remember in the second, in the third book that he has this very, he plays this very long game where he's, he's had this plan all along, he isn't told anything. And I don't quite remember what it is, so I'm quite excited to re rediscover that. And when I read it, I'll be like, "Oh yeah, of course, of course, that's what happened." Because I don't, I remember the, I remember the general gist of things, but it's four or five years ago that I read the whole series. So uh, the events from book one and half of book two that I've just read are more fresh in my mind. That was so. That was Zhang Beihai there. Oh, so this is Wang Miao, the voice of Wang Miao, the scientist, talking about the situation of the Trisolaran planet. And yeah, we're seeing how sometimes, unfortunately, when the sun's 
suddenly changed course, the planet is destroyed in a fireball. We're witnessing that here. So they're saying, according to our current estimates, the planet in the end will fall directly into the sun. And we were just seeing there a few moments ago. Let's go back to that. So that's the game there, the VR headset being used. And these, these are stills from the civilization at different stages there. We've got it in the class of classical period there. And in a later stage there, we've got observatories. And, and you can see there the fireball about to destroy it, which is what happens on this planet. Uh, unfortunately, they're not able to predict the movements. And that is why it's called Santi. The three body problem. We're lucky here at Earth. We only have one sun. Our movement of our planet is quite predictable. But unfortunately, on this planet, life is fragile because of the way, just the way that their planet is situated around going around these three suns. And of course, there you're seeing the planet going into the sun, the, the gravity from the sun in the end predicted to be likely to just fall into it at one stage. So here we've got some stills from the three-body planet uh, in its various stages. So it's just saying the conditions on the planet are much worse than ours. Uh, we've just seen that there. And this is the voice of Shi Chang, the policeman. He's saying their target is the Earth. Mu Di Shi Di Chou. He's saying the worst thing is that we don't know when they when they have started to move home. We just don't know when they've left, which is of course one of the problems. Only the ETO know that. That's one of the things that Shi Chang helps us find out by getting the boat, capturing that hard drive that Evans has. Oh. So there's the planet there. They're in one of their sort of religious ceremonies there. It looks like everyone's getting ready to leave. And the man looking over it just said, this is a new start for Santi civilization. Uh, Xin Sheng, new start. Those look like perhaps they're the Sophons being sent off. Oh, and that's Ye Wenji as a youngster and here in her old age. Evans there. And that's the fateful button that she pressed to send the message off to space. Yeah, that's just they're saying in Chinese the message that everyone gets sent to them when they the Trisolorans cut off their message to uh, their communication with the earth. You're all bugs, it said. You're all bugs there, that character. You're all bugs. So you put your guns down there. I think I'd, I'd like to just stop and watch this, you know. I'm commenting on it in the moment. Maybe you'd like to get a chance to watch the whole thing through. 
I will send a link in the description for this so that you can watch the whole thing through after I finish this stream. Don't worry about it. But I'd like to take it all in with you and then uh, do a little review in a minute. Is that all right? Okay, this is the famous, one of my most favourite books, favourite parts of the whole series, where Dasha, this is Dasha Shitian, the policeman, takes the two meeker and less confident, scared scientists out to the fields near his home in Shijiazhuang, I think it is, and shows them, look, well, let, let's see, let's see what he says. He's saying, so we've we've tried to kill them, we've tried to exterminate them, and you, say, you can see there all the insects flying around him. You see all the locusts, he's saying, all of this effort to exterminate them, but we've never been able to do it. The point he's making is that no matter how technologically inferior we appear to be compared to these Trisolorans who are able to do interstellar space travel. We haven't been able to exterminate the locusts. Our difference between them and us is similar. Why is it for certain that the Trisolorans will also be able to exterminate us? I, I really love that bit of the, the book. It's brilliantly done. Okay, looking good. I'd say that's probably the best trailer I've seen so far. Really well done, exciting, mysterious at the same time, enough intrigue for people who have read the book but also enough excitement and action for people who haven't well done this looks this looks good this looks good so there it is we have a date we have a poster in two days time now that is on Sunday, the 15th of January, the first episode of Santi Three Body Problem will be released. I'm not quite sure of the time of that. Of course, it's going to be Beijing time. But uh, it's all so far so good. So far so good. And of course, I will be doing a stream on that. And letting you know my thoughts on that. What do you make of it so far? Is everyone interested, curious to see this? I have to say that in the past three or four years, uh, I haven't been excited about a single media product, perhaps only interested to see what at one time the North Man seemed very interesting, and I watched that, and that was okay. It, you might get the impression, if you're coming to this channel for the first time, you might get the impression that I'm very much hooked into the media and watch a lot of TV and films. I can assure you I haven't watched a film in about a month and I haven't watched a TV series regularly in months. I might watch you know, 20 minutes or something in the evening with my, with my family, with my wife after, after a long day just to relax a little bit and that's it and i wouldn't maybe even watch if it wasn't for her so you know th this is really by chance and i think it's for a good reason my channel is called sino lit and this is the biggest i think best cultural product to come out of china for a very very long time i mean my a lot of my other most of my other things on my on my channel, I go over Confucius and Mordza and the traditional philosophies, and that will, you know, 
knowing that will make this series more enjoyable because I know the, the history where it's coming from. So if you want to know more about that, there are lots of other videos on this channel about that. This is, of course, also one of my Sinolit goals for the year. I had goals. I made a stream on that. I wanted to reread these books once more. So I read them four or five years ago before I even started this channel, and I've forgotten a lot. So it's just amazing that this is happening right now. We've got the Chinese series coming out. We've got the Netflix one coming. I will be commenting on that, but I have lower expectations, lower hopes for that. So. I, I don't think that's going to go very far, kind of like the animation I've been making videos on. So anyway, in two days time, it's going to come out and I'll be commenting on it then. So thank you very much for joining me. Anyone, uh, anyone who's seen this or watching this when I finish, I'll put the link in the description for the trailer. And unfortunately, I can't find one with the English subtitles at the moment. So you're going to have to just. Uh, just see it, enjoy it for the visuals that it is. And yeah, I wish you all, wherever you are, great morning, great evening, or great afternoon. And yeah, looking forward to seeing this three-body problem TV series very soon. Thank you all for joining me.